Coffeezilla? All right, I love Coffeezilla. I'll always watch a good Coffeezilla. Most people know that I get threatened a lot on this channel. People don't like it when you expose them. I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're gonna need it. <laughs> I forgot about that because Logan Paul really thought he fucking ate, dude. Logan Paul went silent after they got called out on the scam. Took like, I don't know, three weeks or a month and then dropped that video just trying to roast CoffeeZilla. Everyone immediately, immediately tore it apart. Like it did nothing. And then he um, took it down and apologized because it was <laughs> like he spent all that time just cooking in the lab trying to make a fucking ultimate takedown on CoffeeZilla. He dressed up like him. He did the whole thing. And it was immediately a fail. It's crazy. No one told him to upload this, bro. This is such a bad. We're talking today about Aiden Platersky. A scammer who taunted his victims with flashy cars and took their money until it was too late. And he was kidnapped, beaten, and ransomed for $3 million, leading up to this video, which I will warn you, may be disturbing. Everything that happened is my fault. I'm not gonna put the blame on anybody else. I'm not gonna try to put the blame on anybody else. I feel humiliated. Jesus I feel disgusted Christ. in my actions. I feel disgusted in what I did. After 2021, I feel like a lot of it was illegal. Hey, I'm gonna openly say he didn't deserve that. <laughs> I'm gonna open just for chat because you're making jokes. And I got we can make jokes in chat, I'm not a big deal. No one should be kidnapped and beaten and made to make like a fucking torture apology. I don't care. No, I, I don't fucking put him in jail. Give him due process. You guys, everyone's getting so crazy now. I understand everyone's mad, dude. I do get it. But like this and that 19 year old kid dying in the sub and everything. Everyone is so mad looking for street justice. I don't know. I, I'm not on board with it. I'm telling you openly, I'm not on board with that. I don't believe in like just grabbing someone and fucking beating the shit out of them. A truck doesn't believe in Batman. Batman has a moral code, right? <laughs> if Batman were real, he would be more like the Repo Reaper, dude. <laughs> he would beat the shit out of random people and dance on it for TikTok and then sell sponsorships. That doesn't exist. Listen, I pray. I pray all the time for fucking punitive justice, especially on like Wall Street assholes. I think it's one of the biggest fucking jokes of history that in 2000 fucking seven, eight and nine, nobody went to jail for, you know, millions of Americans losing their homes, entire disaster. But I don't, I don't like the idea that people are going to fucking grab someone. It feels like it's turning into a banana Republic, dude. It fucking, yeah, I do think it's okay if you hire like a clown assassin though, a clown assassin to like break into their building and make a chandelier fall on their head. I think that's chill. That's fine, and I support that in every way. The father says that his son was taken. They basically held him for approximately three days, drove him around to various parts of Southern Ontario, beat him, tortured him, allowed him to make specific phone calls, approximately- I'm just being brave here. I'll be the bravest person. Let's say I'm anti-torture. <laughs> I'm gonna be the guy standing up in the courtroom, dude. And I'm gonna say, I think torture is bad. I think we can find a different way to solve our problems than torturing each other. Allegedly, one of the kidnappers, Akil Haywood, actually knew Aiden quite well because he invested with him. Court records show Haywood lost more than $700,000 investing with Platursky. And in another twist, he was appointed as an inspector in Platursky's bankruptcy proceedings. That's insane. <laughs> That's a conflict of interest. By the way, what a flex is this? <laughs> Two bags of Doritos, bro. Holy shit, the Crypto King is eating good with the two for one special at fucking Kroger. So Haywood likely knew Platursky wasn't sharing everything and likely knew other people in the case were hiding information too, like Colin Murphy, one of the fundraisers for this Ponzi scheme. In January, he wiped his phone of all the data which he was asked for. Uh, and he had a very bad explanation for why. Did you wipe your phone before, you know, knowing that they needed what was on it? I keep uh, super sensitive stuff on there with my girlfriend and... Um... I was having too much sex. <laughs> oh, I was having too much sex with my girlfriend and filming it and I cannot, I had to wipe my phone. But definitely I was doing that. There was no fucking information on scam in there. Only information on the m huge amount of sex I was having. I do think this is the classic 2021 scammer pose. <laughs> Every crypto scammer has a different color Lambo that they're sitting on the front of. And I mean, there's like a million of these. This is fucking, this is a classic. This is just, this is incredible. I wish they minted NFTs of all of these and I could own them. <laughs> Cause I would love to collect different 2021 scammers. It would be ironic and cool. Bring it back, dude. All we need is for a little bit more shakiness in the economy uh, for Jerome Powell to blink, 
get scared, drop interest rates back to zero, start flooding the economy with money again, and we could have 2024 be the fucking double pump straight to the moon. NFTs, crypto, bring it all back, dude. Although it's worth saying, I'm definitely not defending what Haywood did, kidnapping him, because not only is it completely wrong, it quickly came out that Haywood isn't some misguided vigilante for justice or something. Uh, given what he did next, he seems about as horrible. Haywood is also charged with threatening an official from Grant Thornton, who's overseeing the proceedings for two- Oh, interesting. This is your hero? <laughs> this is the hero for- This is your Batman? And my point is, look, it's not like he was looking for the amount he was owed, which is allegedly $740,000. He was looking for millions of dollars. At yeah, he was trying to profit, bro. And it wasn't for the average person. <laughs> he wasn't trying to get all the money back to give it out to people that got scammed. He just found a way to beat up a fucking crypto kid for $3 million which I guess we're all looking for in our lives. <laughs> Listen, I'm not saying if a guy on a Lambo had a big sack of cash with a dollar sign on it and it's sitting in front of me and there was a sign that said, you will not get caught if you beat this guy up <laughs> and I couldn't just pop him one and grab it, I wouldn't consider it. I'm not going to say I'm fucking that morally righteous. I wouldn't consider it. But I do think that this guy took it too far. But what I do find very confusing is that all of the crimes being passed around here like a game of hot potato, the one person not being criminally charged in this situation is Aiden Platursky. He lied to all those people, said he was this great uh, cryptocurrency forex trader, allegedly stole tens of millions of dollars, spent most of it on cars, private jets, and expensive houses, and he's not being charged? Like, I'm so surprised by this. Yeah, th this does bother me. And I, I guess it has to do with the fact that either there was so much scamming, the government is behind. Like they don't have a lot of money for this enforcement and they don't understand crypto that well and it takes a long time. I'm an assuming that's part of it. Um, Cause again, this crypto king is not connected. He's not fucking a Kennedy. He's not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's not, he's not so politically connected and powerful that he's above the law. He's small fish, yeah. Yeah, he's Ludwig Rich. <laughs> he's Ludwig Rich, dude. He's not above the law. Although Ludwig does, I mean, you guys know how he gets his hair, right? <laughs> Sucks the blood of children, injects it right into his head. <laughs> that I mean, someone should investigate. I'm not going to do it, but someone investigate it. Now, he started out with me and slime. <laughs> In the early days, when it didn't need to be that good, he stole all of my and slime's hair. Okay, but then that wasn't enough. We don't have that much. You know what I'm saying? And so we had to go farther and farther and farther. And now it's straight up children's blood. This is. And incidentally, the similarities don't stop there with our last story. Remember, Ted Safranco claimed yep. he was also attacked by would-be creditors. And yeah, I don't know if this is real or not. <laughs> this feels, you know, this is not the same thing as the other guy. <laughs> yeah, this guy got stung by a bee or hit his head on the door. <laughs> That's good. This guy walked through a door wrong, and it doesn't, this doesn't feel like he was in a brutal fucking kidnapping. And so it's easy to see why they're frustrated, although I have to say that I disagree with the method. Kidnapping someone who scammed you and ransoming them for money in some kind of scammer Uno reverse card is not a good idea. And getting an apology from them when they, you've beaten them up isn't doing anyone a service. Yeah, it doesn't feel like So a for <laughs> ethical reasons, human reasons, and stay out of jail reasons, maybe... Don't do this. <laughs> He's not really selling it. CoffeeZilla, can we please openly say we don't think people should kidnap other human beings and torture them without... You're doing it in like the YouTuber way. <laughs> He's doing it like whenever Dream's like, hey, don't attack these guys, okay? Don't attack the speedrun mods. They're just doing their job. Wink. <laughs> it's not ambiguous, bro. There's no both sides on it. Just don't torture people. <laughs> don't do it. Sounded a little half-hearted, Coffee. Oh, fuck. What's next? <laughs> I swear to God, not pre-watch. <laughs> I should let these things finish. I should let these things finish. I swear to God, I don't pre-watch this shit. Please drink responsibly. Uh, I don't know. I constantly get threats, so I sympathize with the guy. And don't do it is the right answer, but... I don't know. <laughs> but what? Well, I don't I don't know. I, I get it. Excuse I me? Guess. I mean, it's wrong, but I get it. Oh. But it's clearly wrong. And look, Haywood sucks. <laughs> but I get wanting to screw the guy who screwed you. But I can't say that because it is wrong and the impulse is wrong. 
and I didn't want to put this in, but, but this Aiden guy is horrible. I went to his Instagram to reach out for comment, and I saw what he's posting. It's all, you know, supercars. But you are putting it in, though. I want you're saying I didn't put this in, but you are putting it in right now in this this choreographed scene between you and a robot on a green screen. I mean, this is in. <laughs> This is part of the script of the movie. This is all planned out. Private jets, it's a middle finger to all the victims. And if I lost money to that guy, I'd be pissed too. Wow, coffee, you got an edge. Don't do it <laughs> is the right thing. But sometimes the right thing feels. What? Hopeless, inadequate, Sisyphean. I found this new creator. You're gonna love this coffee. Very avant-garde stuff. Okay. I'm telling you, future of entertainment. Quack, 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 Girl saying quack, 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 quack. No matter what he says, I'm just gonna play it over and over until he shuts up. We truly live <laughs> in an age of wonders. 